Watch ya. <laughs> We're back on the telly again. Back again. You are Only sick us. of the sight of us, aren't you? Don't say that. They've got another eight weeks of this, I think. Really? Yeah, I think Dancing so. on ice. Yeah. Sunday and Monday. Yeah. And Sorry Tuesday and Wednesday that. and Thursday. Do you know what? We've got lots coming out for you today, so we better get on uh, with it all in just a moment. Today's phone in. Uh, for many, uh, this is financially the toughest week of the year. If you were paid early for Christmas, it's hard to believe that January payday is still a week away. Well, if you're struggling, then Martin Lewis is here. Uh, uh, you can give us a call on 08000 30 40 44. Calls are free from all consumer landlines and mobile phones. You can also email us this morning at itv.com. We'll need your emails by 11.30 today and you must be 18 or over. But before all of that, it's a love story worthy of the big screen. When Emma Perrier decided Cupid needed a helping hand, she joined a dating website in the hope she'd meet the man of her dreams. And she thought she had a twist it was. Emma joins us now alongside Adam, who looks remarkably like Ronnie. I think this might need a little bit. With this chatting and interaction, the feelings developed. And actually, both of you told each other that you'd fallen in love with one another. Yes. Yes, we did. App that if you take one of the photos that somebody's using online, you can trace back to where that photo paid and frequently subjected to abuse and attacks on the job. So with two and a half thousand paramedics signed off for stress in the last year alone, just how tough is life on the front line of our emergency medical care services? Well, we sent Dr. Raj out to find out as he worked a shift with Northwest Ambulance Service and saw exactly how life and death can pass through your hands in the space of 12 hours. Just a warning, this film does concern scenes of uh, emergency medical treatment with some uh, scenes that you might find upsetting. Welcome back. Thank you for getting in touch uh, this morning following our paramedic film. Sam White says uh, all our emergency services and NHS staff and says uh, all NHS staff are heroes in my eyes. Mandy says you have to admire anyone that makes a decision to join any of our emergency services. They all work so hard but seem to get treated so badly. Yeah, Claudine says my daughter's about to study paramedic science at university. I'm very proud of her and yeah. so you should be. Thank Absolutely. you to, to those services if you're watching today uh, in a bit of downtime which you don't get very much of or maybe it's a day off. Thank you very much indeed and, and, if, and if you are one of those people that is tempted to abuse them just think about what they do one day you may very well mm. need to give them a phone and uh, they'll need to come to your help uh, right still to come this morning he was up close and perfect for all of that she hit our screens in bend it like beckham went stateside with her emmy winning performance in the good wife but now archie punjabi is taking lead in itv's gripping new drama this week's episode saw her uh, character mona run into some potentially deadly trouble uh, but will she survive before we chat to archie and find out what's happening next let's remind ourselves of the story so far welcome to you it's so lovely to have you here i am loving it uh, <laughs> I'm it's loving stuff, it. Isn't it. Yeah, it's very it's, good. It is gripping. You, Danny, has also disappeared. The police are investigating. She feels like, and the police are looking for him because he's under suspicion. And when she meets her nephew, unfortunately, the police end upside down when they discover that a younger member of their family. So, but the sad reality is, you know, it, terrorism is something that affects each one of us in Britain to, you know, be part of that. And not only be part of it, produce it. It was a very challenging project. And, you know, um, and I remember hearing the story of how you just think. Yeah. Even things that I don't normally, you would never eat here, like frazzles or quavers. That was a dream come true. I mean, the fact that, that I... Here with all the ringside gossip and a chat with Stephanie Waring after she lost out in last night's skate -off. We're back after this break. Welcome Is that back. what you're doing? <laughs> That's what you're doing, isn't it? You're actually looking, you went, oh, the Speakmans are on. They're all on Wednesday. Bearing in mind that tomorrow is Tuesday, what's happening tomorrow night, we are actually looking forward to Wednesday's show and thinking, that's an easy one to do. Yeah, that's like, easy Speakmans, one to do. they could take that away. We could just watch please, that one. Please don't give us any really, really tough interviews on Wednesday. Please don't. I mean, this is like a public, public plea now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. To our right. team, they're in the tower up there. Gino's here. Love you. We do. He's here with a mouth-watering winter warm-up. I reckon, though, um, and uh, uh, it would seem to me that you never really pack. Veggies too. Wow, I've got a present for you. Okay. I've got a present for you. What oh, is nice. this? That's lovely to have a present. Ah, have oh, you got a coat hook? Hmm? What is it? What is it? No way. You find? No, I don't want that. I want the one that you put on top. And then where are we going to put this? Like that, just hang it. Oh, You've got your own hook. Look. Oh, thank you. That's right. I just want. <laughs> I just little you. touches in a kitchen that you need where to put the jackly. Yeah. Okay. But it looks uh, well. But worth it looks it. good. It yeah. looks good, and plus he's got one of these. This is like little nibbles. Oh no no no! There's always, there's always a vegetarian around. Yes. They're, they're, they're the same. So, uh, what you do? Oh, you... Sorry. Uh, the first thing you do, you get the conchiglione. Okay. You can get this anywhere. 
Uh, what I want you to do, I'm not going to show because it's boring. Get yourself a pot, boiling water, get the conchiglioni, boil them. For so what you do, you end up with something that is already soft, so easy to be. Not, national not dente. Yeah. National dente. Once you cook it. I see. Now, at this point, cool everything down. Cool everything down. We are making a bechamel sauce. Yeah. Okay. With, with okay. this? Yeah. Tablespoon. Start to fill the shell. Now, I go... Philip, use this. Yeah, you got. Now, what I got here, by the time that the guys, they fill in the uh, pasta, you can put it here. I got some that, mm. you know, you can, my, my mom used to do this in about, mm. because once this job is done, then she could relax when the meat, which I'm going to put it here. Mm -hmm. All right. And you, the one that you're doing with vegetable, can you put on this side here? Over here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, on there? On this side. Oh, okay. This, on the right hand side. On the right hand side. You can do this on the day before. So, uh, if you got people coming on Sunday nights... You do this level the day before, do you? Yeah, you do it, uh, uh, you do it at the level that I'm going to... You it's can use nice. aubergine, you, you can do whatever you want at this point. Now, once we're done here, we mm -hmm. put a tomato sauce on the, on the bottom, yep. then we got the conchiglioni, then what do we do? More we put sauce. a little it bit... It is like a lasagna. Uh, just, then we're going to put a little bit of the uh, uh, bechamel. The point, Holly, where you ask that you stop if you want to cook this one tomorrow. Right. Clean film. Put in, in the, the fridge. fridge. Then half an hour before you're ready to cook, preheat your oven, 190 degrees. How long are you baking that for? 15 minutes, remember oh, everything. is it? So 15, you could do 20... all sorts of different I know, ones, couldn't really you? I really like yes. it. All in the fridge the day before. The day before, all the prep is done, but look at the dish when it comes out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at can that. you see this? Can you see can it you properly, see everybody? Because that is just look. amazing. How delish. So what you could do, you <gasps> can... Okay. And that's a portion. That will be a portion. No? Tomato sauce that you put around, if you want. And then what I'll do, I also... Uh, yeah. <laughs> or you can put just parmesan cheese. You don't have to put the olive oil, but if you do have a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, that will be magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just put... Usually there is a bottle here. But the one just with the veg. Mm. I just <clears> tried the veg one. I'm just trying to make one. What well, you said, you can put a porcini mushroom in there. Mm. Uh, yeah. Really lovely. And, and, and it looks quite mm. gossip. And it's our weekly appointment with Dr. Chris for all the latest health head stories. That's a 